let it uh, go for just a We were live, and Lord knows what we could have been saying about you. Good thing he meant he he looked. Um, I don't know a whole lot yet. In fact, I should probably. Okay, thank you, Kitty. Um, I should probably jump over on Facebook and because I asked her if she could dial in, and that's what she's doing. She's messaging me on Facebook. Um, this morning. Uh, Mark took Elizabeth to the hospital. She had chest pains and fast heart rate. And uh, they took from ER, they, uh, I want to say, booked her. Booked her? <laughs> and admitted, and admitted her right away. Um, oh, I understand, Willow Creek. I appreciate you, you stopping. Just pretty much um, get some prayers out there for her prayer warrior I Kevin you you know what to do I, I don't know what to do in this kind of situation that's um you have yet to say it. it's B lady it's B lady I, I did I said Elizabeth you're correct thank you Coco we went for dinner uh, surprisingly enough at the same restaurant that we first met which was Red Lobster Thank you, Kitty. Appreciate it. Hi, Kelly May. How goes it? Owen, glad to have you here. Um, I'm going to, while while all this is going on, um, Kevin, if you want to say something, please do. Like I said, I don't know what to do in this type of situation. I don't know if it's a religious difference. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't ever recall in the Jewish community there being a prayer thing. Maybe there was with when my mom was alive and the sisterhood was a, a big group, but not not lately. So Kevin, if you could, you know, jump in and, and help help me out here, I you know, I'm at a loss. That's right. That's right, Pioneer Soul. You know, the the Lord is is in control of this one. Hey, Maria, thank you for stopping. I really appreciate it. And I know she will, too. In fact, I'm going to try and get her on Facebook to see if she can get in here. Okay. Jump on our live stream. She said they're wanting to get her up and walk around anyway. So, and she's upset because Mark won't bring her a hamburger or any chocolate. So. So she must be feeling. She must be, yeah, yeah. And and we asked her, because I saw my messages when I got back in the car, so I messaged her back right away. And I said, um, thank you, Robin, I appreciate that. Yes, half acre dream, she's admitted. Yes, she was admitted this morning. Uh, she said, the earliest she will get out is Monday. Um, I, apparently they have the, I don't know what they called, my mom had, well, when I had my open heart, my heart attack, they put these like sleeves on your legs and it pressurizes it so you don't get clots. Those are wonderful. Um, speaking sarcastically, but um, I was, messaging back and forth. I had Robin in one screen on my phone on the way home, and I had B Lady on the other screen messaging her. So I told her, I said, do you have your phone or your tablet? You can get on Skype and you can live stream with us. She was and, worried about her hair. And our, her first comment was, <laughs> my hair, I can't do that. And I was hysterical. <laughs> no, they, they don't know, well, 
I don't know if they did all the tests yet, Half Acre. Um, according to her, no, they, they're not sure what, what it is. Yeah, compression sleeves, thank you. That's what they are. Um, my mom had surgery when I was, I think, five, and the doctor screwed up the surgery on her one leg. She's in the chat. Be lady help me escape. There we go. She's in the chat, folks. I told her we could be uh, them and Louise, and she says no, because she's not going over any cliff. So I don't know, you know, what we could, uh, uh, angina. Uh, rain country wants to know what the request is for. Rain, um, Heidi, B lady, Sasha Elizabeth was admitted into the hospital this morning. Chest pains, and uh, a fast heart rate. So they're not going to let her out till at least Monday, and she's trying to escape and wants me to help her. So we created this live stream to let people know, that's and right. she jumps in on it. That's right, and that's what I told her to do. I, yeah. I told her to do that. So B Lady, the proverbial floor is yours if you'd like. Hey, all sorts. I'm trying to, to look up at the screen and, and watch what's going on in the chat, so. Hi, Cab. Thank you, Ben. Well, I'm with you on that, Christy. When I had my sciatic nerve issue last month, I laid in bed for two hours and cried until I finally got up and told Daryl, Either you're going to drive me or I'm going to drive myself. No, they're not. But we could always dress up as clowns and go make people happy, I suppose, Kevin. Okay, get to repeat yourself again. Southern Ark's in here. Nina. Southern Ark, Nina. B Lady had a fast heart rate and chest pains this morning. Mark took her to the hospital and they admitted her. So as soon as she'll get out is Monday, they're thinking angina, which is what she just told us. That's that's the gist of it. That's about all I know. It's chocolate withdrawal. Chocolate withdrawal, is that what it is? Yeah, she says she needs chocolate and a hamburger. There we go. You, th you think if I call a, a florist instead of flowers, they'll send you chocolate and some you know Burger Kings or something? Half Acre Dreams, her first name is Elizabeth. Okay. Maria, what is angina? Are you going to go look it up for the... Yes. Maria, Daryl is looking up the technical term for you. Oh, yeah, I bet you they are giving you nebulizer. He, he made all sorts. Ah, the nebulizer. <laughs> Thank you for stopping, Amy. Sure do appreciate it. This was definitely spur of the moment. You know, I was chatting with her, like I said, on Facebook on our way home. And I looked at Daryl, and Daryl looked at me, and we go, live stream. <laughs> Be lady. McCray pretty much wrote what it was. Robin knows. Yeah, matter of fact. And that's exact, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, she must went to the same you website. Went, yeah, did you go to the same website, Robin? <laughs> oh, yeah, Nancy, me too. I had uh, a heart attack in 09, then a year and a week exactly later, I had open heart surgery. And the year before my heart attack, Daryl had a heart attack. So we, we take turns, you know, we share it. Se second time in how long though, Elizabeth? Has it been a while? Willow Creek, you could do what you have to do. I, I appreciate you stopping, we all do, thank you. It was just one of those fast things to get 
get uh, the word out and then everybody here can pass it around to whatever groups they go in. Um, we'll be stopping in at uh, Deep South Homestead, but, but they already know, so. Oh, thank you. I was up till two o'clock this morning, half acre dreams, um, scanning those. Daryl knew nothing about what I was doing, and I do not know anything about Filmora. I mean, here he is, he's the one who's giving the classes, and I don't know the first thing about it. So I just prayed that that video came out decent. And then once I got that uploading, I went over to Steam it and typed that up. Second time in five months, and then something's up, Elizabeth. Something is up. Robin, I went to the doctor. It was like a month before my heart attack, and I had one of those. I had to do the, with the treadmill and whatever all that testing is called. They found nothing. No blockage, no nothing. Poof, a month later. They rushed me to the hospital, and I coded in the ER. Daryl said they shoot him out of that little room, and just no wonder my chest hurt. They had a pound on me. Isn't that the truth, Rock's Corner? I mean, you don't even have to know these people, but we do know these people. I don't know if... if we could explain this to anyone that doesn't do this YouTube or Facebook or whatever. You know, it, they just don't understand. Yeah, stress test. That, that's what I had, Ben. Thank you. Coco, you going to make that uh, pickle bread for Discover E? Not to change the subject. Thank you, Maria, for stopping by. Love you, little one. Hey, my blind mama, how are you this evening? Yes, that's true, Heidi, that is very true. I mean, look at us. We have people from Japan and, and England, Australia. It's just, it's just wild, just, it's just amazing. Yeah. It, a cyber family. Mm -hmm. And it's no different than when we get to meet in person. Then it's just, uh, 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 Howard said it when we had the uh, the Michigan uh, meetup. You're 3D now. But, you know, when we met uh, Living on a Dime, Tara said, we're the, Daryl and I are the same in person as we are on the computer. Oh, did they Kelly him? Did, did it hurt Af after a while? I mean, did you wonder? Did anyone tell you that that's what they did? Because nobody told me that's what they did. Daryl did a while later. It's like, you know, I wonder why it hurt so bad. And I had a bruise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's true, B lady. But if you don't say anything, you may end up back there with something worse. So get it checked out now. Bite the bullet and get it checked because you can't miss Virginia. Hey, Little Mountain Ranch, glad to see you online. Rocks Corner, you work through what you have to work through. If you need help, I have broad shoulders. Give me buzz. Yeah, Kelly May, I, I was the same way. Yeah, I coded in, in ER before they even, you know, got me up to the room. By that time, I did. I was out. I woke up in the room and it was all over. Let's go, right? 
Mm -hmm. Hey, Angie, haven't seen you in so long. We need to catch up. You know, talk about people and plan stuff and plan to, plan a meetup, <laughs> do something, a cook off. I don't know. I've, it seems like I haven't talked to you in forever. We love you too, Rocks Core. You take care of yourself. And like I, I'm, you know, I'm honest. If, if you need me, I'm here. If you need my phone number, I can give you that too. That's no problem. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Nancy. <laughs> You're gonna be the one beating on my chest and then my butt? I don't know. You have to come from Florida to Ohio first. At the spice store. Oh, I still want to find one. Oh, Rusty, I don't know. We went to one last month. Was last month? Yeah, last month was Michigan. Last month was a Michigan meetup. The end of October, Deep South Homestead has one down in Mississippi. The end of September is the Wisconsin meetup, or is it October? No, that it's September, I think, in a couple weeks. The, yeah, big family. Big family. Up, yeah, well. I think next week. Hi, then. June. Hi, old Alabama gardener. Angie Daryl didn't make that video. I did. He didn't know anything about it. He didn't know about the video and he didn't know about the steam it page. He was in there sawing logs. And you should see me, you know, sneaking over, looking around the corner, making sure he wasn't getting up to see where I was. No, all sorts I don't. Is it one of those like gladiator type games? Um. I had my heart attack in April of 09 and I had stents put in. Then April of 2010, a year and a week exactly, I had open heart surgery. Kelly May, I'd have to get a, per a permit, a passport now. But I'd love to go. Road trip. Who do I pick up on the way? Yes, Coco. She was at the meetup. Didn't she? Didn't you? She she came a little bit late, if I remember correctly. Nancy, my steamit name is I think it's Two Family Homestead. Two Fam Homestead. T W O F A M Homestead. If that helps you any any better. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks good. We'll keep watching. Um, spelling correctly. Now, is that going across the screen? It will be as oh, soon as you okay. say it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Kelly Mason, get your passport. Heck, my license expired last month. I got a, a postcard in the mail. Okay, I see what I Thursday. have to put some spaces in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got a postcard in the mail that uh, my light driver's license expired. So guess where we went to yesterday afternoon? No, I'm not having surgery. No, it's not me. Uh, B Lady is in the hospital. There we go. Um, we were just talking about when I had my open heart and my heart attack. That's that's old news. So oh, that's not. There we go. Thank you. That works. We missed you, 
little mountain ranch. We were, I mean, everybody was worried about you, but we, we knew you had to take care of what you had to take care of. And when it was, when it was time, you'd get back in touch and we'd continue on. We're just, we're just glad everything's okay. Angie yell at Daryl. What? What I do? Angie's. Oh my God! What the hell is happening around here? No blue-haired trolls. <laughs> he did pretty good with that banner, didn't he? Oh no, you can't. Coco, does this look familiar? Daryl has taken it over. That's Daryl's pepper mill. You know, like Little Mountain Ranch, like like others has said, we're family. It's what family does. All right. <laughs> there, Angie. See now, are you in the right live stream? Does this make you happy? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, just just wait, B lady. Wait until you get into a deep, deep sleep about three a.m. and they come over and, and put their their hand on your your arm and say, "Are you awake? We need to take blood." That's when you want to go like that to them. Wait, Daryl did that one time coming out of anesthesia. They tied him down. Both feet and both hands. Both feet and both hands. He was tied down. Okay. What was invented by Prince Harry? I missed that. Oh, it must be that what she was talking about. I'm old. I, I, I'm getting slow in my old age. Hey, cozy kitten. <laughs> yeah, Robin. Cold, cold hands. <laughs> no, there is no sleeping in the hospital. You lay there with one eye open, and if when they give you your nighttime meds, if you don't ask them for your sleeping pill, come one or two o'clock when your eyes are still wide open and you're watching some stupid shows, they go, we can't give it to you now. That was my issue. Well, Ms. Butler. Oh, used to be one of what people, Ms. Soap, the one that would and one had to be tied down or one that was doing the tying. <laughs> Rain, are you part Italian? <laughs> you know how they talk with their hands. June call, would that be mouth to mouth? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if nothing else with this live stream, I think we perked her up a little bit. She was feeling lonely and alone. Couldn't get a hamburger, not chocolate. Oh, that's awesome, Kelly. Hey, if you ever need any help, give us a buzz. You know, Daryl will be Daryl will be perfectly happy to to help you out. Will they allow that there for for 
you to have your, instead of them giving you the meds, will they allow you to bring your own in? I don't know, it's just a thought. I don't know how they work it. I mean, because if you have your own, you know, that means the hospital doesn't get their money. Yeah, isn't that awful, Heidi? No chocolate, no hamburger. I wonder if she, are, are you allowed Jello? know if you asked for them or not. <laughs> oh rain those those um those things that look like they look like Reishi cups. Was it yesterday you posted them? Yesterday or, or Thursday? Oh my gosh, those look delicious. Oh my, wait a minute. Okay, everybody, get out your violin. Let the orchestra start for Angie. Okay, I'm gonna back up, because I know she's gonna slap me now. Well, I think I have more than eight, med eight meds. I may have you beat, B lady. you already are part of the family like it or lump it you know once you're in we don't let go we're like the Italian mob ah so Mr. Rain likes them huh mm. hey Simply7 how are ya Nicole, I'm not sure which one I'm talking to. Oh yeah, Hall of Notes, I like that, Angie. That's cool. No, crazy pills to put you that way, Rusty, or to put you on the other side of crazy pills because I have one it's not a crazy pill it's my chill pill that's what I call it and Daryl can tell when I'm out of my chill pills was it two years ago when we went to Walmart and I was looking for candles for Friday night for Sabbath something like that I went up to the cash register everybody knows I'm Jewish and normally I try to light my candles for Sabbath on Friday night. So we go into Walmart and I couldn't find them. I walked down to the international aisle and I saw every other international thing. So I walked up to the cashier and I asked him, where would the, the Jewish stuff be? He goes, what? Well, I said, you have an aisle with Mexican, you have, you know, uh, Japanese and Italian. Where would the Jewish stuff be? I realized Jewish is a religion, not a nationality. I said, but where were the Jewish? I don't know what you mean. So she asked the manager. He says, well, we don't have that stuff here. I went off. So Daryl came over and took my arm and walked me out of the store. I haven't done that again. See, Rusty, we're all nuts. We simply, we actually do belong together in a community. <laughs> Nicole, I, ho I hope you are healing. Oh. Does she know it's there yet? Probably not, because I just put it there.
Me lady, have you looked at the screen? You're right, it is killing us. But it's like, I know I have to lose weight, but I it's like I have no willpower. I guess I'm to the point where, you know, I'm X amount of years over 60 and I don't give a crap, I guess. I don't know. It's not the way it should be, but. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay, Robin, you keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself that. Imagine that, Kelly, a Canadian watching hockey. My aunt, my mom's sister, loved hockey. Oh my gosh, she was a hockey fan. Hey, Krista. How are you? Gosh, we have Germany in here and we have Australia in here. I didn't have anything to do with it, B-Lady. I sent it via messenger. Whatever that. She said she sent something via messenger. Yeah, you sent it to me via messenger. Well, how did you, oh, oh that, you, the, I have her hospital pick. That's what she's saying. Oh. Well, I just grabbed this off yeah, the website. Yeah, that, that's good. Especially since she said she didn't want to go on Skype because of her hair. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to do some editing on that one. <clears throat> you haven't slept since yesterday? What's going on, Angie? Well, I haven't, I haven't even been in the garden to get our tomatoes yet. I think maybe tomorrow I need to do that. <laughs> Old Alabama gardener, I guess I've been hitting the snooze button way too long. Well, Kelly, she... She can see what you write. She's in, she's in the chat here. Oh yeah, it is nine o'clock. It is nine o'clock. Well, uh, thank you, Tina. I appreciate that. We're going to go ahead and jump on to Deep South Homestead because we just wanted to, to get, jump on here and sort of give, give people heads up and get some prayers going for uh, Bee Lady here. I will do that, Robin. You were the first person I messaged after I heard from Elizabeth, so you're right up there. Oh, Angie, I don't have to go and pay for tomatoes. My garden is going to give me enough I mean, overload. We were told that if we planted such and such that this one restaurant would buy our produce, that fell through. So we have this huge garden with all this produce that only two of us have to do something with. So I'm not, I'm not doing that again this year, two years in a row. Thank you, Angie. Hugs to you. We're going to go ahead and uh, end this. Uh, if you want to join us over on Deep South Homestead, please do. That's where we're going right now. So, be lady, you take care. I will chat with you, and I'm, I'll call you probably tomorrow, not, not tonight, because you need your rest before they come and take your blood at 3 a.m. Well, that's why we're here, be lady. We have, any, if we have many updates, we'll let people know. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely let people know. I'll put it on whatever channel I can find on Facebook. So thank you, folks. I appreciate you stopping.
I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.